everybody. Since I just got done cleaning my shop, I'd like to give you a tour today because in a couple hours it's going to look like my shop again. <laughs> so here we go. And to the left, this is one of my wood storage benches. You can never have enough wood as a woodworker. And everything on here except for what's in the box has been locally harvested. I love getting wood from around here because I love this area. Uh, this here's my bench with holds some tools and I got my grinder there. Here is one of my favorite things in my shop, my heater. This thing works excellent and lasts a good long time on a fill of propane. This here is my favorite bench. This one is where I do pretty much all my work and it moves around, it's got a good cabinet underneath, I got two good heavy vices on it. I love this bench. Now over here is another basically wood storage area. Uh, all of this wood here is also uh, locally harvested. There's a friend of mine that lives up the road named Ralph Craig that uh, brings it to me from his farm. Here's my planer, another one of my favorite tools that I was able to purchase through a grant I s received through the Artist Trust of Washington. I, I may be saying that wrong, but they, they gave me a grant and I was able to get this planer. And the next thing I'm going to show you is able to buy this saw too. I love this saw. This is a double bevel compound sliding miter saw. And one of the reasons I love this saw so much is as a wood turner, I don't usually use very long pieces of wood. So this is able to cut basically anything I want and I don't have to use a table saw. And with this one, I can put my wood on the saw, I can clamp the wood down, and then I never have to have my hands anywhere near the blade as I'm cutting. So that is a wonderful saw. This is Colonel Sanders, another one of my favorite tools. And I use this for quite a few things. I like to use it to flatten out pieces of wood that I'm about to glue together because it makes them perfectly flat for a nice joint. I also use it to prepare the rough pieces of wood I get that are locally harvested so they can be mounted to the lathe and turned into something pretty. I also use it to shape blocks of wood into uh, spatulas. I'm even thinking about doing some spoons in the future. Now we move on to the main event here, my lathe. And it's kind of funny, everybody is always so shocked when I tell them this is a central machinery lathe I bought from Harbor Freight and this thing is a beast. It's got a good 4,000 hours of run time on it and it's still running strong. Knock on wood. <laughs> now, we move over here, this cabinet. Oh. And this is one of my favorite things here too. This is a bar stool I got from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. And I use it when I'm sanding on the lathe, give me a nice little break at the end of the project. Now here is one of the only dust-free zones in my whole shop is in this cabinet. Uh, this cabinet is actually uh, something I got when I was rebuilding pianos. It used to be full of piano wire and I would use it when I was restringing. And then next to that is another wood storage area. Like I said before, you can never have enough wood when you're a woodworker. These are some locally harvested pieces of hawthorn. And then these are pieces of a, a fir support beam from a house that was built here locally that someone had left over and they gave me. Now we come back around to the door and we've made a full circle. Thank you very much for being patrons on our Patreon page and thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.